afternoon, and welcome to Strange Animal Files, part of our Tales and Tales Summer Reading Challenge. I'm Jennifer from the South Valley's Library, and I would like to tell you a little bit about an animal whose scientific name is Chylamphorus truncatus, but is also known as the pink fairy armadillo. With their silky white fur and pink segmented carapace, they look a little bit like a hamster hiding in a lobster shell, or maybe a fuzzy piece of sushi. Out of the 20 species of armadillo, the pink fairy is the smallest at about five inches long. They live only in the sandy grassland of central Argentina. They are nocturnal, which means they sleep during the day, and they live in burrows underground. For all of these reasons, the pink fairy armadillo cannot be easily observed in their natural habitat, and little is known about their behavior, lifespan, and role in their ecosystem. They also do not thrive in captivity, which makes researching them very difficult. The reason this armadillo shell is pink in color is because it is filled with blood vessels that they use to regulate their body temperature. If they are hot, they fill those vessels to cool off. If they are cold, they constrict the vessels to better retain heat. Pink fairy armadillos have large claws, relative to their size, that make them fast burrowers. They burrow so quickly that they appear to be swimming in the sand, according to the very few humans who have seen them in action. They also have a flat tractor-like bottom that they use to pack down loose earth behind them as they dig. They eat mostly plant matter and small insects that live underground where they burrow. The only times they seem to need to surface is when rain fills their burrows or they encounter an obstacle that they cannot burrow under or through, like a road or railway, for example. You can find some more information on these curious and elusive arthro arthropods <laughs> in Unusual Creatures, a mostly accurate account of Earth's strangest animals by Michael Hurst, in Fly Guy Presents Weird Animals by Ted Arnold, and in several magazine articles found in our Explorer database. We will also share links to some excellent external articles from reputable sources on the resources page in the comments. Plus, you can always ask a librarian if you need help finding information on these or other crazy critters. Join us every Saturday in August for more Strange Animal Files, and don't forget to keep logging your reading on the Beanstalk app or on your Summer Reading Challenge log.